Hey guys, I'm Laura, and today we're going to have a go at Ladybird Nails. Yes, Ladybird. I'm British, we say Ladybird. Okay, first we're going to put down a base coat. This should help protect the base nail and make a much smoother surface to put the nail polish onto. Once the base coat has had time to dry, I use this really bright red colour and use this as the base for my design. Everything else is going to go on top of it. Bloody hell, do you see that? This might be just like the second time I've actually been able to apply polish so, so neatly. The polish has gone on so smoothly, which is a huge plus. I think I deserve a gold star. Once the red was dry, and after I did a sneaky second coat that I didn't film, I used a black nail art pen that came with the kit to draw the divide between my ladybird's wings. Okay, it, it is a pen, I promise. But I can't seem to figure out the pen aspect of it. I think the lid opens, but I'm not sure. However, this thin brush is good to me. It seems thin, like a striping brush. Uh, really good for small detail work. Well, I assume it's good for small detail work, because I'm not good at small detail work. By putting this detail at the top of my nail, it makes the wings look a little bit more dynamic, as if they are just about to open. I'm obviously going for complete realism here with my little cartoon ladybirds, thank you very much. And my camera is finally in focus again, thankfully. I took the same black striping brush slash pen and used it to create the heads for my ladybirds. I probably could have done quite as well with this with a regular nail polish brush, but I already had this one out. I needed to make sure with the head that I left enough space for the eyeballs to be put on later while not taking over too much of the wing space. I felt quite lucky because this black polish is so thick that I didn't actually need to do another coat on top of it. On the first two nails I started from the tip of the nail and worked my way up to the shape I wanted. On this third nail I drew the outline first and then filled it in and I actually feel like I got a better shape and a better smoother design out of it. I let the black polish dry for a while and then I got the dotting tool dipped into some white polish to make the eyeballs. I'm a big fan of efficiency and while I may not be very good at it in my day to day life I do try, such as now. Which is why, while I was waiting for my white dots to dry for the eyeballs, I took another dotting tool dipped in black polish to make the dots for the ladybird's wings. It's a pain in the butt that this thumb just keeps getting in the way of my shot. I got some new mini tripods for Christmas and this was me testing them out. Because I was set up at a different angle, I didn't always see that my thumb was taking up the whole of the screen. I used the same black dotting tool as before to do the inner eyes of my ladybirds. But I struggled to get it in the right position. So I decided to redo them, using a slightly bigger one to do the whites of the eyes, letting that dry, and then redoing the pupils with the black. still not completely happy with the one on the right, but I think the one on the left looks so good it makes up for it. Once I was happy that there were no other little bits that needed to be done, I added my final shiny top coat. Okay, is it just me? I think these are really, really cute. Not as cute as my reindeer, but pretty darn cute on themselves. Shall we have a close-up? Here's Olive. And here's Charlie. And here's Alexa, and here's me cleaning one of them up. I used a stiff brush that was dipped in some nail polish remover to go around the edges to help get rid of some of the polish. And what I couldn't get off, I used a toothpick to just scrape the last bits off. I found though that the best way to make your nails look better is to look at them from further away. The closer you zoom in, the more bits you're going to notice that you've screwed up. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching my video today. If you stick around by clicking the subscribe button, you'll be notified of any new videos I have coming up and I have a lot of good plans and new videos on the works. Also, if ladybirds are your things and you like my nails, give me a like. If you think I should be focusing on other cute little animal-y things, write a comment below and let me know what you think I should try next. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye!